Hey everyone, welcome to The Visitation here on AM820. I'm Mary Beth Eberhard here with my good friend Lisa Iglesias. Hey there, Mary Beth. Hey lady. Um, I am so happy to see you. I'm so happy to see you. Um, and I am excited to honestly take the time to be with you. It has been a season of busy. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know that you have watched me with, um, I don't know, motherly eyes, but very dear friend eyes worried um, eyes sure mm-hmm. sure um as um as i've healed you know i i had uh, colon cancer and went through that treatment and once once my feet could hit the ground i was you know back in mom zone yeah, and, you've been and, running ever since and teacher and writer and and here i go um and thank you jesus because i can i can do and i can go and i'm gonna go do it yep. right and, um, Why not? Why waste a minute? Right. Exactly. Because I'm on mission. I mean, that's that's what I'm doing. Um, at least that's what I told myself. And um, and I was able to sustain it for a good a, a good bit. And then um, eventually, I just started to like my body just started to shut down, um, and things began to hurt. Um, and I found myself honestly like in fetal position on my bed in tears um mm. afraid to put like an egg in my body um, right because it it would hurt so much like is this the food that's going to mm. um to hurt me so much and and it was because i wasn't taking the time to uh to care for myself I was caring for everybody else mm-hmm. um and so in typical mary beth fashion i um I made a plan for like, once I do this, this and this, you know, so I finished directing all my kids school plays. Well, done. Um, I, how did everything go? Everything went really well. Lovely. They Lovely. were so amazing. I love those kids. Um, and as the teacher, I got to, you know, you recognize the seniors and I got to recognize my son and it's really hard. Hmm. Like I teared up um, because as, as the mom, you're like, Oh, and especially, you know, this is my son, Gabriel, who Mm -hmm. has, you know, um, he's has um, this disability and has walked through um, a lot in life. And so that was very moving. Um, But anyways, I was going and going and going. And so I'm in slow down mode now. Clearly, I'm here, right? This is slow down mode. But it is because this is this is like breath. I don't know. Just being here is really great. Um, But I decided a little bit of accountability, a little bit of like encouragement to others. I was posting on my social media, like, here's what I'm eating. <laughs> yes. Here's, here's, um, here's like the picture of the flowers that are blooming. Like this is, this is the breath for me today. Mm-hmm. You know, what's your breath, mm-hmm. right? Where's your breath? Um, and my mother-in-law, um, I thought she was home, but she actually, she's, um, in Arkansas. She just, <laughs> she just goes, I was like, Hey, are you coming for Easter? And she was like, well, we drove all night to Arkansas. Um, but anyway, she, she texts me this little note and, um, and she has these like bits of motherly wisdom. Um, she treads carefully cause you know, she's my mother-in-law. Um, but every once in a while she, <laughs> um, she'll just throw a zinger and she, she won't call, but like it sits there. Sometimes mm. texts are even harder because it's like, so tricky right to be a there, mother-in-law. Right? <laughs> um, but she said, I'm glad to hear some time in store for self-care you sound fulfilled and ready for earned downtime but we don't earn downtime it's to be taken when needed Mm. boom boom literally (laughs) right i was like hey well played andrea well played because um i don't know about you but my relationship with that term self-care has been a little bit snarky because i've uh, for the longest time i thought um you know, that, that stuff was out of reach for me because doesn't self-care mean like um, getting your nails done and massages and, mm. um, you know, uh, extravagant trips somewhere where you just, you know, sit on the beach or something. And like all of that I f- felt was always out of reach for me. So I'm like, that's self-care. Wow. That actually sounds selfish, you know, <laughs> like, yeah. but, um, and so that's what I was told myself for the longest time. But, um, not too long ago have I realized that that self-care, your mother-in-law is right on it because, um, oh my gosh, like I think we, you know, we we want to do all these beautiful things or um, provide these, you know, the household, the meals, the, you know, the driving to all the things for all our kids and et cetera. And, 
And so, yeah, so you're picking up meals and drive through maybe and things like that because, you know, that's the situation and going, going, going and f- falling in bed exhausted every night, like, and then up in the middle of the night, like, you know, maybe somebody needs you. Yeah, I can't even, I can't keep, I can't keep up anymore, but I'm starting to see that, yeah, she's 100% right. And why am I surprised? Because Jesus did all of this stuff. He modeled going That's off exactly and praying. What I was thinking, yeah. Yeah. I was thinking he went off to rest. Like he rent, he, like he didn't say, okay, after we do XX, like he, the rest was the priority. <laughs> yeah. Right. Mind, mind blown. Mind blown. And, um, a little while ago, um, I, I feel like a little kid in grammar school again. It's like all these new things that I'm learning. And I think it's because God is helping me take my eyes off of me. Mm. And I'm just really like learning like what, like this, this about Jesus or whatnot. And so like um, my husband, Deacon Doug, um, was sharing just kind of like as an aside, I think he was having a conversation with one of our teenagers and they were talking about um, the office of readings and about the, the first, the, the first uh, prayers or whatever for the day are the night before. And so that the day actually begins with rest. So like you say this prayer, okay, I'm totally saying this wrong. God help me. But like, so you, you, you have this part of the office and then you go to sleep at night. Mm. So God in his wisdom knew our first thing of the day would need to be rest. What? That's amazing. And so then rest and then we get up and we start the day. When I started thinking about that, I'm like, I was, oh, I'm always been this person about the morning. Like, I'm not going to say anything to anyone because it's going to come out like sharp and nasty because I don't want to be up right now. I want to sleep until 830 You know all this. No, you're right. It tra- Immaturity. But it changes it now. It and changes, I was like, oh, yeah. thanks, Lord, for all that rest. It was only five hours, but thanks. <laughs> you know, like, you know, <laughs> but um, that, that he starts with rest. Starts so why are we rest. surprised? Right. You know? No. And to give yourself like the, to realize that, I mean, what did she say that um, it's not earned? It's not earned. Yeah. Yeah. It's taken. I mean, she's needed. moving. She's moving into this holy realms with that, you know, that's yeah. like grace. That's like God's love. I don't know, none of it is earned. It's like we need to take time. What What is it about? Uh, was it written to you or me about a crumbling well? Did you write that to me? I don't know. Go you ahead. often quote things. I'm like, that sounds really great. Like it's in <laughs> I an often article think you it's wrote, you. you so I think um, this is my friend, Pam in Miami yeah that um I got to meet yeah so my son Justin is in ministry is this Pam who's in our rosary group yes oh we've been praying for dear her. Pam she she wrote me this amazing thing she said um you can't give from a crumbling well Ooh, a crumbling I mean, that's not well. even an empty well yeah that's like even the well is crumbling and I've let that happen to myself spiritually physically yeah. um I like was like stuck on well, that you can't even like rebuild I mean, right. you can, but I mean, I like, like, how do you draw the water? Like, you can't lean against it. Like, the whole vessel mm-hmm. has to be remade. Come Holy Spirit, remake us. You know, yeah. like, wow, I, I just thought. was blown away by that. But so rest is like, it's not an option, mm-hmm. apparently. No, I Dear mean. Dear one who recovering right. from. Yeah, I know. Healing of cancer. <laughs> like, the, the, like that. It's not an option. You are similar to me, though, if I mean, if we're going to sit here on our front porch, because I remember, Ooh, you know, about to call me out. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being like, hey, you you need to I mean, like I, I, I sat beside you um, yeah. on your couch to keep you company and keep you yes, sitting. Yes. Um, it's hard. It's hard. No, you told me scary mom. stories. Um, oh, look what I did. What I did. <laughs> I ended up back in surgery because I got up too early. Yeah. Yes. No, that's true. But um, but it is hard to, um, I think as women, like we see a need, um, especially within our, our family. And we want to, we want to fill that need, you know, we're, we're maternal, we're givers in that way. And, um, and, but we're not givers to ourselves. Um, so I've had fun this week. I have, I, I'm on, let me think Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I am on day six of rest. Um, Good and, job. No, seriously, I am learning what rest is. Um, and I have five months until I teach again. Um, and I've kind of, we've had like a family meeting about like, this whole family needs some rest. And what does rest look like for you? Mm-hmm. And we've talked to the I kids about that, it, right? That is, your, yeah. Yeah, what does it look like for you? Because for Ryan, my husband, rest for him is like, 
um, you know, he likes to go take, um, I was going to say the birds and the bees, but that sounds wrong. But it, it, what I meant was he likes to go take long walks and listen to the birds. And, um, and that's my, I know that's you. what you meant. I know, but you know, it's, a, it's a season. Um, he, he's, he's an outdoor person. So being outside, I know, I'm, um, he loves being, he loves going for walks. His, his rest is outside. Mm -hmm. Um, for me, my rest is like when it feels like rest, um, is I love, I love to make food. Do you know, Mm -hmm. I love to really be in my kitchen. So this week I have been chopping and, um, you know, I scrub my, my breadboard and, um, I can't have bread right now, but um, I can make it for my family, right? Mm-hmm. I made soups. I meant to send you a picture. I made a new well, wedding that soup. that one picture that yeah. you showed me, this beautiful, yeah, is that I all did. like I parsley and things and yeah, beautiful green yeah. in the bowl? Mm-hmm. Like that, and that was healing. Like there's something about soup that's just like, it's amazing. Um, I, I read some fluffy books, like sweet little rom-coms mm. um, out in the, like with a blanket on the front porch um, in the sunshine. And I was like, yeah. This is what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. And um, here's the important thing. I realized that um, like my impetus, like my motivation, not only is that, you know, my body was hurting and I needed to care for it, um, but my kids are going to do exactly what I do. They're going to feel like they have to push, 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 push um, and not slow down because mom didn't. Right. Right. Well, and, and for the uh, valiant re- reason of like, oh, well, teaching and being involved in my kids' lives and doing these different things, but also like what else drove mom? Like, was she being driven by something else? Like, not you particularly, but sure, like, no. you know, like, are, are we driven? Like, I really hope those folks see that, you know, I'm not just, you know, the cook and bottle washer, you know, barefoot at home. I like, I have a brain. Like I can like, yeah, <laughs> I direct plays, man. You know, like I can, <laughs> I can like, uh, I can, I can, you know. I can whip 54 teenagers into a show. Boom. Dude, yeah, I can bake bread. Can we just stop right there? I bake bread, but it starts all in the bread maker. And then I'm like, oh, look at me folding the bread. As I put it, <laughs> put it all, the bread maker did most of it. You're listening to St. Gabriel Radio on AM at 20. This is Mary Beth Eberhard here with my friend, Lisa Iglesias. And Lisa, we were talking about rest. And, and I'm really curious, you know, what for your life, you know, what was... What was rest for you and what has rest become? Yeah. Okay. So I was thinking about this and I was like, you know, um, now when you're, when you're a a young mom, Mm -hmm. um, rest for me was, I just want to go upstairs and take a nap. Amen. You know, I just (laughs) feel like you literally are physically exhausted Mm -hmm. for months, maybe years of your life where you just don't actually, actually sleep, you know, and I know that that was a thing for me, but I remember, you know, other times of life where I wasn't a brand new mom or whatever. And to go and sleep was my quote rest. Really? It wasn't. It was one of more of like a withdrawal. It was more of a, um, I'm just going to sleep. I'm just going to take a nap. Like this is too much. I'm just going to take a nap. And I would not wake up feeling any better. I was not more refreshed in my soul. I still had the same things going on. I still felt depleted. I still felt like um, I was pretty much invisible. Like I just, like this kind of odd, whatever. So I have realized though, that the rest, taking rest means those things you're talking about. Um, Being present, like taking time to have coffee with, you know, someone you haven't seen in a long time or, you know, a teenager or um, um, just sitting for a little while, you know, like allowing myself. So right now, rest to me looks like, um, you know, my day is full of uh, homeschooling high schoolers, babysitting a grandbaby, um, doing the household stuff. Um, and and now, like daily, my rest will be not multitasking, doing different things, maybe just listening to the two-year-old tell me what he sees outside the window Mm. and we talk about is that the elephant no elephant at the zoo you know and and that laughter and falling down on the couch like just giggling like i'm just being allowing myself give myself permission to just i can just be in this moment right now oh my gosh it is so so refreshing for me for my soul um other things like spiritually like 
making the time to, yes, we're so busy, whatnot, but like to get to adoration, like once a week, mm -hmm. you know, getting, getting yourself physically into church more than once a week um, really feeds me, really makes me, like I spend like half the adoration praying for people, thinking about who to pray for, and then finally I'll stop and yep. sit and just look at Jesus and, and just re receive that, just that stillness, which is sometimes... Hmm. Sometimes tricky in with a family in ministry because you're um, praying for that one over there who who's singing and then the one over there who's serving doing that and the other one who's running the live stream and so you 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 hope they're having rest but for our own selves you know finding those times I think it maybe it's about that like that presence and letting the other things just be I don't know well you were talking the other day um, can't remember if this was you know on a show or just on a phone conversation. But you were talking about um, particularly this image of in adoration, the Lord looking down um, on us as a child, you know, that um, and us um, to him. You know, I think you particularly when you were I think it was a text you sent me and then we talked about it. Um, but you had this image of just sitting there like an adoring like little infant looks in their um, their little bouncer seat or you know whatnot is just looking up at you and um with that um trust in that um adoring face right and then i interpreted your text as like in the lord the same way right mm -hmm. just looking down on you with um w and and that's what that image of parenthood is right like we're gazing on this this little child with you know our all, all the love we can like it's just glowing in our face and um and the rest, um, you know, there's, there's this fulfillment there. There's a, um, a well that I think that there's a, there's like a glue like that. Like maybe that's like the glue. Those moments are necessary, um, to just sit and be, um, but it is interesting, you know, when we talk about, um, rest and how, you know, you find rest and, how I find rest. Um, it's easier for my husband to just take the rest. You know, he's like, um, I know there's a lot going on tonight, so I'm just going to go take a nap. And I'm thinking like now, like you're just going to go take that nap now. Like, but so much could be happening mm -hmm. right now. We could be doing these things. Mm -hmm. And um, there, there's something to be learned from that, you know, mm -hmm. and um, and I don't think that he's unique. I think it is somewhat of a male characteristic where um, he knows that he's going to have to provide in this way. Mm -hmm. And to do that, he's got to do this. Right. Yeah. Jesus models it. Right. I'm going to have to go do these things. So to do that, I got I got to go replenish myself a bit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Holy Week, he didn't go. Yeah, I know I'm going to be up all night. Uh, I'm going to have to go to Kaifa's house. They're going to beat me up some more there as well. And then I'm going to walk all night long, and then I'm going to be back over there at Pontius Pilate. So I'm just going to take a nap. He went and prayed. Right? Like he went and right. prayed, and he sweat blood. You know, like there was so much more going on there than we'll ever understand. But um, you didn't even analyze it the way, like, so the way mm -hmm. that you just said it, so like female to me like in that way right because i'm thinking like okay i've got to go do this i've got to do that and then this is going to happen and then okay after that and and he knows yeah. he knows he knew he knew right um and he surrendered he was just like i'm going to go to the source of all rest mm -hmm. right um so and maybe i'm sorry no, but maybe please, go this ahead. is um happened too it's like in that rest you're reminded of like who you are, like the things that um, that bring you the joy mm -hmm. that, you know, like that, that um, I don't know, like, like, because I think I've, as moms sometimes um, or, you know, we're, we're, we're very focused on, you know, like, you know, because they're they're into this and that sport and that is um, instrument of this and that, you know, whatever it is, all the things they have to do, maybe it's youth group even or whatever they're the kids have going on or husband that's going on or we have going on like provision wise for the family, but like the things that like delight us 
when you take those moments of rest, you remember or you realize the things that delight us. And God put that there in us, particularly, you know. Yeah, we have a tradition in um, in our marriage um, before we go to bed of um, my husband or I will ask, you know, where was Jesus for you today? Right. Just a, a quick little. And often those moments are those, um, oh, when grandson and I, you know, laughed at the window or, you know, those type of, you know, I don't have a grandson yet. But similarly, you know, when I um, I went outside to see Joey's hammock, you know, like it sounds simple, but like I went outside, to, <laughs> you know, I stopped what I was doing. Um, and I think that that's a great, um, you know, kind of a, uh, what are you grateful for? That's a good um self-discipline but also if we think of you know the lord went away to rest the lord also gave us rest you know you um you're talking about the liturgy of the hours and how our day starts with rest Mm. but we have the sabbath we have sunday right um and the lord has given that to us so here i am in a period of almost bodily mandated rest right absolutely and um and um and that is good and necessary but there, it, it can only be sustained for so long, right? You know, I. It's but, true. Um, however, it is a, it's it's necessary right now. But the Lord has He's formed us within, like He's He's formed our our days and our moments around rest, mm-hmm. uh, rest and rest in the morning, right? Um, and um, rest on the Sabbath. Yeah. Have you seen those calendars where it, it starts with Monday? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because it's like, oh, the weekend. Mm. And like, is that how God made it? Is Sunday the last day of the week? Like, that's the, oh, it's the end of the weekend. Most calendars, it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because it, it the week was supposed to start with rest. Right. And, you wow. know, I, I, it's challenging because, you know, we live in a world where weekends are where we get stuff done. Mm-hmm. You know, we... um we go, go, go. And even church has become a um, a busy day, yeah. you know, families in ministry and, you know, and our family has youth groups on Sundays <clears> and, <throat> um, and, but there's something to ponder for all of us in how do we give ourselves rest? How has the Lord given us rest? How has, I mean, he's laid out the opportunity for rest yeah. and it really is up to us to take it. It's our choice. Mm-hmm. God you know, God gives us that free will, but um, we are more closely, we are the people we want to be um, and who he created us to be, who he formed us to be when we rest. Mm -hmm. I definitely smile much more. My tone is much lighter in the household. Um, I'm much more like, um, you know, joyful and silly, you know, sending hearts text to my husband yeah. when I've had or decide to, you know, to do that, to make, to make God's agenda, to let it be my agenda for the, whatever moment, whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. and I love, my husband gives this, um, you know, he, he really does model kind of the, um, the father's relationship in many ways because, you know, I'll be, I'll go in his office and I'm like, babe, I, this water I'm drinking, so good for me, right? <laughs> and this food, like you wouldn't believe it. I took a walk, holy moly. And he's just like, yeah, uh-huh. I'm a good choice. But, you know, he's he's um, he's also not going to, you know, like raise his eyebrow if I don't, you know, take the walk or stuff. He's just going to make this, it's available to you. Mm-hmm. You know, he'll say, um, I've got the kids, use this time. Yeah. And how I use that time matters. And so, you know, um, I invite our listeners. I remind us that that rest is 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 there for us. Yeah. You might say that we don't have time, but we do. We do, and I think we need to also like put that challenge out. So here we go, challenge to you, me, and our friends listening. Mm-hmm. You know, in that rest, take fifteen seconds and ask God in my day to day, what is the stuff that I'm doing that is um, just. Um, not coming from a place of humility, not coming from a place of the person that you created me to be, because I don't know what it is. You know, like we fill our lives up with things that we think are good yeses, like, oh, that's good. Yes, I'll do that. Yes, yes. All the different things. Um, but what are, what are the things that aren't quite what you want for me to do? Because maybe if I shed 
this or maybe a percentage of that other activity, then maybe this rest that you want for me, Lord, where I'm focusing just on you, um, maybe that I can enter into that more or more fully. Anyway, challenge thrown down. (laughs) And so let's just end with, you know, gratitude because Mm -hmm. from gratitude comes rest in rest is gratitude. And so, Lord, we just thank you. We thank you for um, creating us. We thank you for um, creating our our pattern of life around rest. And and we ask you to um, to bless us, bless that, um, make it fruitful. Our time of rest, open our eyes to um, the opportunity for us. And in whatever space we have, heal us, um, so that we may go out and be more fully who you created us to be. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. Thanks, Mary Beth. Always, babe. I'll see you later.